Well, hello there, YouTube. There's old Kylie hanging out close today. It's been like this squalline looking thing. I think it's just a huge fog layer. Look how there's almost blue in it. Let me show you something. This, this is kind of cool. It's been going on all morning. It's slowly, slowly moving west. But this is what I've been kind of looking out the back window all morning at. It's just slowly, slowly moving west. It's kind of cool, huh? It's like the edge of a blanket. Like that you can see the, the line of the sun. As soon as that thing moves west just a little bit more, it's going to peek out. But anyway, did I say what day it was? It is Tuesday the 27th of October. October is quickly approaching its end. Well there little woman. Just a note that, on. There's that layer. Yeah. We watched that thing almost the entire way here and the farther we got south the farther it was off. Yeah. Towards the west. That was really weird. <laughs> Strange weather happenings. Yes. But anyway, it's Tuesday. Have yourself a wonderful day. Looks mm -hmm. like it's going to be a wonderful day. Yes, I hope the heat paper goes away. Yeah. Something's kicking me this morning. Yeah, something. Get that one tickle and it just won't stop. Yeah. And one nurse drow. <laughs> Probably sucked crazy. in a Leo hair or something. Probably. <laughs> it's in there going tickle, 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 tickle. <laughs> All right, love, see you bye there. Love you, baby. Bye-bye now. Bye. Another GSA ride today. This, uh, this is a long time customer. I've been working on his uh, BMWs since like, oh, six. Had some old ones. If you guys remember, I'm trying to get this in my pocket. There we are. <clears throat> If you guys remember when we first became a dealer, we had that open house. Whoops. Whoops. <laughs> yes, the clutch set really close. Um, he showed up. He had that, uh, God, I don't remember what year it was. I think it was an old 1100 GS or GSA. Had a hundred and, I don't know, 107 or something thousand miles on it a lot of miles and he had another one that I don't know I think it had 80 or 90 thousand miles it was like a year or so newer I think I got it right here behind this BMW oh it's nice out here this time of year when you get a clear day you can see for miles it's just so crystal clear just love that look you know the summertime's nice but this place likes to be wet a certain amount of the time and if it's not it just turns into the silty dust bowl and all that gets stuck in the air it almost looks like smog it's not it's just this blue haze why it's blue I have no idea anyway he is having me uh, check his valve adjustments if you guys remember two years ago this is the one that uh, he picked up from a rental company that was, well, let's just say wasn't using BMW oils <laughs> and uh, smoked the uh, cam and followers. So we put new cams and followers in, in there. And his valve adjustment, other than, I think, one of the intakes on on the left and one on the right was a, a 0 0.01 millimeter looser than it was the day I put those cams in the exhausts are exactly the same and uh, that was at 20 20,000 miles he's got 40,500 miles on there you think I'm joking with you with keeping stock air filters and use BMW oil in these things? Did I, the guys that own them and follow what BMW's recommendation is? Uh, you know what I'm talking about. Your bike lives forever. So you figure these engineers, oh look, the Harley's been out. Ah, dang, look at that. 
So you think, you know, BMW spends these millions of hours designing these things. And think of the millions of hours of training from these highly, highly educated and brilliantly smart engineers. And then you get some yahoo that comes along going, I ain't putting that BMW oil, oil, BMW oil in there. I know better. I'm going to put my oil in there. Yeah, so uh, sleep on that one. Well, if I get caught in this thing, yeah, it is. Wow, what is going? What is down there? Food bank line. Man, that's sad that that has to be a thing. You know, with the situation you're either booming or you're the bottom fell out, you know. Kind of a tough deal. God, is it nice? What's our what's our temperatures going here? 57 from wherever my watch is reading from. got a jet following us up there howdy safe landing at PDX my friend hope I wasn't going too fast down the hill I don't think I was I guess if I were I think it's like yeah I wasn't going too fast Oh, we seen a crazy thing coming to work this morning, State Patrol. We didn't know it was up there, you know, you get a group of cars. We we're just entering Kalama. And all of a sudden he dove off. And I go, well, I didn't realize there was a a turnout right there or a turnaround. There was it. <laughs> he just shot across the medium. You know, a lot of times they put that sand in the mediums that you know it, it the cars will sink cars trucks whatever will sink into and it slows them down you know if they were to have an accident and come across into your lane you'll go across the medium they must have known there was a hard spot there there was no trail like other guys have been doing it before him and um yeah he took off and headed back northbound i thought somebody was crashing at the moment and all of a sudden this white vehicle dives to the left and it's <laughs> for the medium Kelly's going, oh my god. I think there's some railroad tracks right down there. I'm pretty sure there is. Oh yeah, look at that. It's just a single line track. Killed myself looking. Whew. That feels pretty cold. Oh, isn't this beautiful? Got some fall colors. Beautiful, beautiful weather. Kind of on the nippy side though. Man, does that feel colder than 57? <laughs> oh. Just makes you just from the inside out nice and warm and fuzzy feeling when it's this pretty out. Thanks for moving over, Dodge. I appreciate that, buddy. You're a gentleman and a scholar. And if I'm good, I'm going to slip on over here. How does weather like this not just put a huge smile on your face? I know the camera doesn't reveal just how crystal clear and sharp everything is. You could see a finch on the top of a tree from a quarter of a mile away. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. I thought there was a left turn there. They must have taken that out. 
that was? I used to go down there and it's really hard to get turned around. I'll be dang. Nobody done that. Good old boxers, man. Good old diehards. I wonder if you guys can see Mount Hood from here. You can see that peak poking out of the ground over there. We need to come and spend some time at Mount Hood. There's a lot of cool stuff up there. I don't know if I've ever vlogged going up there. All of that out there is the is our auto mall. It's called the it's called the auto mall. There's where Harbor Freight Tools is right down there. I've taken you guys there a couple three times. Here not too distant pass. Forget what the last thing was I ran in there to get. Something. Took you guys along with one of those little I'll be right back. Oh, it was the uh I needed the T T60 or T55 or something like that Torx to take the uh I was replacing the strut on the front of that K1600. Is that one K1600 that's down there? The service manager got a hold of BMW and he goes, he goes, look, he goes, there's no ETA for this one shaft. So he says, you know, call this other division at BMW, just tell them, you know, you'd like to have, uh, just have a whole transmission sent to us. Because, uh, you know, we own that bike. You know, we, uh, we paid for it, it was a trade-in, so that's just cash out of our pocket until it sells, you know. There's no flooring or anything on a used bike. So uh, he gets a hold of, of whoever it was at BMW to get the approval for the transmission. And the reply back was repair per whatever the first people you talk to. And he's like, is that an answer? Are you telling me to get a transmission? So he went to order the transmission. He said, I'm just going to get a transmission for it. This is ridiculous. Transmission. Quantity. Zero, 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 zero. Nowhere. Doesn't exist. They're probably in the middle of putting BMWs together. So that ends up having them, you know, but they can pull them from the line. But even a transmission has like a, a VIN to it or an engine number type of thing. So all that stuff that kind of messes things up when they just randomly pull one from the line. It's already assigned to a bike, so they got to reassign another one when they do that. They don't like doing that. So I don't know what the answer is for an ETA. He said he got mad at that point. And he had a few uh, less than kind words to say and uh, walked away before he got himself upset. So he'll go back and look see what the availability of that thing is man what an incredible ride that was stellar I take that wide so I can see what's going on I've literally I think I mentioned this before I literally had people try to cut underneath me like if you lost your ever-loving mind the answer to that is pretty much yep That was fun. Thanks for coming along for the rip. No bag. You gotta make sure these things don't have bags on them. You throw it on the side stand, they're liable to touch something else. And the bags hang way out there. All right. I still look. I still have my original bags down here. You get a ACS pump button that thing. A little one. The day is over. It was a good day. A nice ride on, on the 2015 GSA. That was really nice. Oh man, that was just perfect out here. Although without any kind of wind resistant clothing, it, it 57 I think it was, felt quite cold, <laughs> shockingly cold. That's all right, that's a very fun ride. Little woman and I stopped at Walmart's. 
But look at this light. Look at that beautiful shade. How it actually even turns into almost like these purples and blues. That is beautiful. Holy moly. Almost a full moon. I think it might be a full moon for Halloween. Wouldn't that be something? Could be. You have to look at the little moon chart. Well, Mama, let's head on north. Finish off the day. <laughs> All right. Let's roll. Well, hello there, YouTube. Definitely dark getting home tonight. Yep. Yeah, we're well, we're well over an hour past sunset. What's that Abby doing? Too? They're cruising around yeah. the chicken coop. Good, like chicken stuff now. Being nosy. Mm -hmm. Man, that was one of the most enjoyable test rides at work I've done in a long time. I was telling Kelly on the way home, I said, that was weird. I mean, you're test riding a bike, but that was. I mean, it's always fun to ride a motorcycle. You know, you can't say, well, I'm just just riding it for a job. It's always fun to ride a motorcycle, but yeah. man, the, just the smell, that cool bite in the air, and the drone of that old boxer underneath me. I had something else. That's a lot of fun. I'm sorry you had such a hard day at work. <laughs> well, Damn. for a little bit during the ride, it was very nice. <laughs> <laughs> And his vows after a really long time, over over 20,000 miles, pretty much right where I left him when I put those cams in there. That's good. It's way cool. And he's been using the BMW oil and filter and good man. But anyway, I think we'll make it short and sweet. Get the stuff out, get the dogs and start my, uh, my long journey to build a vlog. <laughs> Alrighty, well thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give her a thumbs up and you guys have an amazing Wednesday or Thursday. Heck yeah. Alright. Thanks for hanging out with us once again today. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see you in the morning. Bye. Thanks now. Bye bye.